through electrical planning. Electrical planning. So our first thing is we need to make a list of everything that you think you're going to use in this. So we got to get our, our consumption side kind of worked out. Uh, so you're going to have like six LEDs, lights. Let's say eight, just to be safe for under the counter. Eight LED lights. Um, what other things you're going to have to use the, use electric, electricity? USB chargers? Yep, so we'll have uh, three or four different outlets with USB chargers. Four USB chargers. There will be the exterior lights as well. So uh, a couple okay. LEDs more. So two exterior LEDs. What else? I also have kind of the LED mood lighting across the RGB. <laughs> uh, one or two? It's going to go around the, the, the perimeter of the interior of the trailer. So, so maybe take two, like a rope two light, rope right? lights. So think like 25 feet, two 30 feet. LED mood lights. <laughs> That's going to be fun for the kids. I think they're really going to like having it. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can see it already. The, the fan, the max fan. Max fan. Let me see how we're doing on camera here. I should turn the viewfinder around so I can keep up with that. Um, okay, so the max fan. Fridge? Yep. Okay. Fridge cooler, whatever it is. The, um, depending what we do with the heat, there's going to be some sort of a 12 volt heat. Yes. Whether it's the fan on a Propane. I think it. I'd like to try diesel. So let's see. We're not going to be using heat very often where we're going. You can use it more than you think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, diesel heater. Okay. Max fan. The. I think it, the AC unit's going to run on on. Yeah. Shore power, so that one we don't need to worry about. Yeah, we'll have to set it to side for a minute. The water pump. Water pump. There's actually going to be a sound system as well. Sound system. All right. <laughs> what kind of sound system? Uh, so right now I've been looking at different, nothing crazy. There will be a little subwoofer though, so it okay. will draw a little bit more. Um, I was looking at... You're going to Bluetooth it off your phone or you're actually going to have a head unit? Yes, head, head unit. Okay, so it's going to be... Uh, oh yeah, but, Built in. B built in, but it w there will be a head unit built in. Yes. Like a car stereo. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, car stereo. I may try to ch talk you out of that. Really? I have a car stereo, yeah. Just go with the Bluetooth speaker? Just go to the Bluetooth speaker, yeah, because the car stereos have a pretty good, consistent current draw, whereas with the Bluetooth speakers, you know, you, you basically just have your current draw when you're using them. Right. Um, and it'll be a little bit more electrically efficient. But depending on what we do in batteries, it may not matter. And, and I'm fine with Bluetooth if we have the good quality sound as okay. well. So good quality sound. Okay. Yes. Sound quality is important. Yes. All right. I'll Jam that in the woods. Board. Um, what do we have left? Hot water heater is all propane. You got lights, you get your heat, you got water, fridge, max fan. USB chargers, um, coffee pot. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to take a little more. Um, because when we're going a little fancier, are you we're going one ten. So a propane. So it'll be a so a propane stove. So we don't need to worry about power for it. No. Okay. All right. The, with the car stereo sound system, I wanted the option if we had to to, to plug in a small screen. Okay. Um, uh, for like to watch movies and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. No, it makes complete sense. You can even have a twelve volt TV. Um, yeah. So the reason I'm making this list here, and we can go back and refine this. We may even put it in the spreadsheet. Is each one of these is going to have some level of current draw 
mm -hmm. and you're going to expect to use it for some period of time. So let's just go through, and you could find these like in the technical specifications of the stuff that you buy, but just to kind of rough it out. So your LED lights are going to use less than an amp, right? So let's let's just say that for ease of calculation here, that they're going to use a quarter amp each, and you've got eight of them, so you got two amp draw here. Two amp hours. Uh, our four USB chargers, those, especially if you're, like, you're charging an iPad or an iPhone or something like that, I mean, they'll draw an amp and a half or so. So let's assume f all four of them are working at the same time. Okay. So that means we're probably looking at six amp hours here. Um, two exterior LEDs, kind of same kind of concept here. Let's just say we'll, probably a little brighter LEDs, so we'll do one amp hour here. Uh, two LED mood lights, uh, let's say one amp hour there. Uh, max fan, fans sh amazingly are really um, efficient. Yeah. Um, and so just for safety's sake, we'll say three amp hours here. And then your fridge, um, depending on which fridge you get, when they kick on, they draw a little bit more power, and then in steady state, they draw a little less. Uh, but you're thinking like a Dometic or something like yeah. that. All right. So let's say six amp hours here. And then our heat source, diesel, kind of same thing. It's going to draw about 10 while it's heating up. But then when it's running, it draws one or two. So let's just say three as an average for now. Water pump. Um, they draw a little bit more, so we're going to say 5 amp hours here, but you don't use them that often. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, sound system, um, let's assume we've got a head unit in there, and uh, your subwoofers and your Bluetooth speakers and all of that thing. So we're probably at about 8 amps here. And these are kind of in the ballpark. And then coffee pot. Um, if you're running off battery at all or inverter, or is it only going to be plugged in? So I was thinking, I use the jet boil when I'm camping. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking when we use the coffee pot, it's going to be when we have shore power. When we're on shore power. So, so we'll leave it out of our calculation. I, I think I would, yeah, leave it out. And then our small screen here, let's say that um, that's a TV, and I'm going to guess at this one, and so we may have to kind of come back and adjust this, but let's say six amps here. So this is our amp hour consumption. Then we need to talk about how long we think we're going to be using each of these on a daily basis, right? So your LED lights internally, uh, let's say in the winter time, it gets dark at five and you set up till 10 or 11 at night. Uh, so six hours. Uh, your four USB chargers, kids are going to have something plugged in all the time there. So probably 18 hours a day. Is it drawing the yeah. whole time? Yeah, until the, until the devices are full. Yeah. And anytime they're playing on it, they're... You no, know, I agree. So yeah. let's, let's go maybe say 12 hours. Yeah. Uh, two exterior LEDs, kind of the same thing as this. Let's assume you turn them on when it gets dark in the winter at 5 and you turn them off yeah. at, at uh, It'll be five, 6 hours, hours yeah. here. Mood lighting, how long? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's going to be... Two or three minutes. <laughs> yeah. Well, probably three hours now. Okay. Um, yeah, put a couple hours, because okay. that's that's usually like later at night for watching a show or something and just coming down. Max fan, you know, in the summertime, you yeah. you're running this guy 12 hours. Yeah, I was... Uh, fridge cooler is going to be always on, but it cycles, right? And so your cumulative, even on your hottest days, maybe is five hours here. Okay. Because it, it'll run for like 10 minutes and cut off. And then 10 minutes and cut yep. off. And that may be even generous there. Diesel heater will run all night, right? So that you, in the nights you run it would be 12 hours. Uh, your water pump is very intermittent, you know, so you might run, if you ran it an hour a day, that'd yeah, be a lot. Tons. We'll be uh, out of water if we run it for an hour. Sound system, three hours a night. You know, with the kids, yeah, that would be more. Okay. 
Six hours a night? Do six just to be okay. safe. Uh, coffee pot we're going to skip for now. A small screen. How long do you think you'll be watching your small screen on batteries? Let's just say a couple. Three couple hours. Three? All right. So, two amp hours times six hours. We've got 12 amp hours of consumption there. Six times 12 is 72. Yep. 72 amp hours. One times six is six. Two amp hours there. 36 there, 30, 30 here, 36, 36 5, 5 48, 48 amp hours, 18. and 18 amp hours. You get a calculator? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, did we just, what did we just come up with on uh, amp hours? Uh, 84, 90, 92, 92 plus 36, 128, 1... Uh, 58, 58 plus 36, 188, 194, 199, 140, gosh, 199, what is it, 199 plus? So 247, so plus 48, 48, yeah, 247 plus 18, 265, so you're consuming 265 amp hours. 24-hour cycle. So that's our number to work with. So we now know that our amp hour consumption is 265 amp hours. So we'll clear the board here and let's talk about options for that.